All right, going to the doctor here in a few minutes. And one thing for sure I want to ask him is uh, when I stand, the foot gets terribly uh, red. Is this, I think you can see it here a lot better, how red this one is and how, you know, how white the other one is, you know. I never knew I was so white. Jeez Louise. But, uh, yeah, there it is. I mean, red one. And see, I can move it more. White one. So this is a big concern of mine. A big concern of mine is the color, the blood running to the foot every time I stand. And it gets all, it feels all full and, 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 and stiffer when the blood goes down there. So this is a question I have for the doctor. And a little bit less swollen, so it's slowly going down. So a few questions about the mobility and about the blood and the redness of the foot. So we'll see that in a moment here. Yeah, the position is good, like mine. Now I'll ask him off on the right side. You see the 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 schuur there. Blijft that always so? Yeah, that must be just filled with pot. Yeah, that must be filled with pot. He has to not he need bone ingrowth to get a mechanically stable uh, construction. Yeah. Because now the whole mechanical stability is reliant on this big titanium plate. Yeah. And if you have sufficient amount of bone, then you can load the bone instead of the, the plate, you see? Yeah. That's why we, we refrain from loading it too early. To, uh, but the plate will stay in there for uh, forever in principle? Or Only if it gets infected. Severely infected, and it's a dangerous thing. Yeah. Leave it in. We'll take it out. But normally, it will It'll stay, stay there because you can see it's anatomically shaped. Yeah. So it's not a, not like an external fixation or something. Yeah. That I think you told me the other doctor said. Yeah, the other doctor after the operation that yeah, these new plates are pretty. Yeah, you see the the anatomically shaped. Yeah. yeah. And, f and Fruger, uh, before it was just one re uh, straight yeah. uh, metal thing. Uh, you can also see in these plates that there's a difference in dimension of screws. So you have small, tiny screws here, you see? Yeah. You have big screw holes with big screws there, you see? Yeah. So it's sophisticated equipment. Yeah. After telling me how they inserted the uh, plate, I asked them. It came in down here by the so ankle. This is like the surfboard, you see? It's a shape. So what you do, you put this on the periosteum, we call it. Mm -hmm. This is very adjacent to the bone. Yeah. And you can shove it under the soft tissue envelope. Oh, wow. Under X-ray control, you slowly, you slowly move it upwards. Yeah. And you take away the soft tissue envelope from the periosteum, and that's exactly the place where you can place this plate. Wow. And then by X-ray, you find the holes, and you put in the screws. Yeah. <laughs> There's a guide. Guide thing, you can screw in the hole here. Yeah. It's a little you see it on the guide. camera, yeah? yeah? You see it on the camera, you guide, and then you can drill and you can put your screws in. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Very nice. Outer cortex, you see? That's yeah. like oak. <laughs> yeah. Strong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. This is marrow. The marrow, yeah, bone marrow, yeah. This is weak. Yeah. So sometimes people ask me, aren't your screws too long? <laughs> Actually, that was a question I had, thank you. Yeah. But it's normal. Yeah, that's, it's supposed to be long, because it has to touch two cortices. Yeah. You see? Yeah. Um, okay, now very good. Anyway, my concerns have been largely answered. The, the redness in the foot, the, the purple, the blood that runs down there. Yeah, that should go away, and especially uh, with you know more time here. So he's not too concerned about that right now. I can stop, uh, you know, with this here. After these are done, I can stop with the, um, you know, blood thinner. You can read it right there. So I'm glad with that. No more giving needles in a couple weeks here. And uh, you know, he was he was happy with what he saw. So that gives me confidence. I can put 50% weight on the right leg now. So you know, all these little concerns that might be running through your head if you have a broken leg or. In my case, what I was feeling, you know, it's nice to hear that everything is more or less normal. It's normal to feel all those weird things and strange pains. And but anyway, if the doctor's happy, I'm happy. Now I just got to learn to walk again. <laughs>